So I mean, this is our meet as a triple E rank is announced now. So here I am with all the step by step procedure for the counseling process that is CSAP centralized seat allocation process. And I am the only person who is guiding the the student for the Amrita um, counseling process from last six seven years. So if you want, you can take my guidance. Sidewise number is available on the screen. But the important thing is that if you want to pay the guidance fee, then only I have provided the warning at the start because lots of people will call me and just for one doubt one doubt that is not possible never i will i will never solve any doubt without payment if you want take it otherwise it's your choice because if you can pay two lakh three lakh to college why can't two thousand for the guidance so here is the detail regarding the uh, counseling process and once you do better counseling two three thing you will get that is better campus better branch and more importantly better slab to save your academic fee so here is the information what are the branches available in each campus you can check here they have provided the detail that is uh, maximum uh, branches available in Coimbatore campus and there is uh, only two three two branch available in Faridabad Nagar soil three branch and also in Amravati there is three branch in Bangalore um, uh, and um, Amritapuri and Chennai there is multiple branch available now eligibility means your date of birth should be 1st July and date born on or after 1st July 2004 educational qualification 60% aggregate in physics chemistry math and also not less than 55% in any of, of the three subjects and uh, thereafter there is uh, two options that is uh, with J you can get the seat with A triple E you can get the seat 70% and 30% respectively annual fee structure here is the information and uh, you can check the annual fee structure also slab one have very less uh, number of uh, seat and also less fee that is only 1.5 lakh but only 10 percent seats are there in slab one slab two have 20 percent seats slab three have 20 percent seat again and slab four have maximum seat that is regular fee non scholarship so uh, that is have six lakh per year you can check for the most demandable branch in most demandable campus like bangalore coimbatore uh, and uh, Amrita Puri for other branches like electrical 5 lakh uh, and uh, only 1.25 lakh and for other branches PC, mechanical, triple E 1 lakh for slab 1 and 2.5 lakh or 3 lakh for slab 4 percent deposit 10,000 for all branch and hostel fee will be updated later I will inform you through a separate video and here is the term and condition to continue this fee that is if you get slab 1 that will be applicable only for the 2025 and 2026 academic year and to continue that it's if you are more you have to ask for each year then only you will get the slab 1 fee every year if, uh, and for category 2 7.5 and uh, no any unwanted action you should do in the college and 3 is it's a clear each semester without any backlog if you get backlog you will get the failing to meet the aforesaid condition 1 to 3 and it will be required to pay slab 3 in subsequent fee uh, subsequent year so category 1 means if your slab is 1 now and its if your score slab 1 will be continued if your uh, uh, slab uh, is 1 now but if your score 7.5 to 8 cgpa in, in uh, coming year then slab 2 fee you have to pay if you will get 7.5 or le less than that then you will have to pay slab 3 fee and if you are in slab 2 now and if you will get 7.5 or above you will get the slab 2 fee continue if you get less then slab 3 will be applicable in subsequent year and once you get into the higher category means from slab 1 to slab 2 or slab 2 to slab 3 returning to back to it is not possible means 1 to 3 you have gone means slab 1 to slab 3 now if you score well and you want to uh, come from slab 3 to slab 1 that is not possible here they have mentioned clearly now the CSAP process registration you have to do by providing your all the detail and uh, OTP will be provided for all further process and uh, HSC marks entry state board Kerala CBSC all other state board you have to provide the document and uh, Admission will be cancelled at any stage in the CSAP pro uh, process if there will be some problem with your document. So be very careful and uh, SCSTS student needs to provide their document also 
and uh, here is the information uh, registration fee is 5000 you have to pay that is non refundable if the candidate is offered any seat in any of the allotment round. if there is uh, no seat allotted to you then you will get the fee refund refund registration fee is refundable only if the candidate fails to get any seat of the academic preference submitted even in mop up round means up to first round second round and mop up round if you will not get any seat out of the choice filling you will get 5000 refund now registration fee is not be refunded if the candidate is not exercising the option during csap even after offering means when you once you get the seat and you will not do anything you will not get the registration fee back and registration is not guarantee of your admission it depends on cut off also now let me provide you the allotment process first of all they will provide you trial allotment that is nothing but just to inform you what you can get based on the rank that you have got in the trial allotment so that you can change the choices if you want and the pro pro uh, provision to change the academic preference will be closed within one day after the trial allotment so one day you will have you can change the choices so once you are registered with my guidance i will be guiding you one to one so that uh, even after the trial allotment if there is a need of change in choices i will do and i will be guiding you one to one as uh, uh, it is a very important process to do the counseling carefully to get the better slab better campus better category and i will 100 percent guarantee you and it will be my responsibility to provide you best out of your rank and also here in this uh, choice filling what happens is uh, if you fill cse or ec because they, they, those are demandable branch but your parents is ready to pay only up to slab two but they will provide you slab 4 because there is nothing like you will fill slab 1, slab 2, slab 3 separately like uh, VIT but uh, here only you will have to put any any one branch of campus suppose Coimbatore CSE you put that is on one option only it is not like Coimbatore CSE slab 1, Coimbatore CSE slab 2 if this option will not be available here so that's why if you put that and you get slab 4 you will have to pay the fee and your parents will not pay so you will be out of the counseling process and your rank will be wasted that's why it is important to consult with expert like me so that I will guide you whether it is available up to slab 2 or not. If it is not, then you don't need to fill that option. So, hi friend, this is Amit. Here I am going to inform you about my complete counseling guidance for A E exam as a centralized seat allocation process that is counseling CSAP. For that, I will guide you one to one that is what is best for you, best uh, based on your rank, what will be the choice filling best order. I will provide you personally. You can join through my app or you can join through my WhatsApp also in the description. Everything is available. So, one to one, I will guide you so that you will save your money by getting the better slab to pay less fee. Also, I will provide you three things best slab, best branch, best campus out of your rank, whatever you have. So, there is lots of things, lots of critical things in the counseling process. Once you do mistake, you may not get the best campus or if you get higher slab, you may, your parents have to pay more fee. So, to save everything and get into the best possible uh, branch and campus, kindly contact me for complete counseling guidance. I will be guiding you one to one. Until your final admission is done, I will be connected all the time. You can call me, text me and there will be video session live also so that you can ask your question as well. Otherwise, you will face the problem. There are two rounds of allotment, CSAP round one. After this, uh, such candidate need to part uh, need not to participate in next round. If you do accept uh, and it not, uh, and confirm, if you do accept and confirm, you will not participate in next round. For candidate allotted any one of their academic preference in the P slab one, you also need not to. Uh, for example, a candidate is allotted fifth ed academic preference with the lowest P slab and is satisfied with the academic preference. So there are two options for this candidate. One is uh, such candidate if satisfied with the allotment, accept the admission offer by paying one lakh and confirm by paying the remaining fee, cost and deposit order before the date. Accept and confirm means accept and confirm. So, means you don't want to go further. That is called freeze in other counseling. Here, second option is accept and upgrade means you got the seat but you want the further upgradation means better seat. So uh, there is three, four option regarding that accept and upgrade. You will have the multiple option move to higher academic preference without fee restriction restriction means you want to get the seat that is better seat up to a third fourth option whatever you have put irrespective of the fee slab including non scholarship means you want the non scholarship also but better branch second option is you want the better uh, better branch but only in the uh, specified uh, slab that is slab one to three excluding the non scholarship Move to higher academic preference with the same allotted fee slab. Means if you have got slab one, you want slab one only, but you want the better seat. 
move to lower pay slab without moving to higher economy means you want the same seat but you want in the better pay slab to reduce the fee so candidate who are not allotted in the first round can change their academic preference and wait for the second round if you will not get any seat in first round you can change the choices if you will get seat in first round you can't change the choices so round 2 allotment those who have opted for upgrade those who have registered newly those aspirant will be eligible for round 2 and you can get the counseling done round 2 here you can check all the information they have mentioned thereafter there will be mop up round and uh, that's it that will be the last round mop-up round it's the last round you can see a special round so registration in mop-up round will be done separately so if you want you can directly join mop-up round also if you will not join early here is the schedule as they told 18 there will be the rank list but they uh, announced the re uh, result on 15 itself as i inform you and uh, 30th may last date to uh, register for the csfp for the trial round if you will register after the trial round allocation you will not get 2nd june publication of trial round 3rd june that means one day you will get the edit option after the trial round to change the choices 5th june publication of first round and 5th again uh, after the publication the second uh, round uh, registration will start at csap and 13th june last day to pay 1 lakh fee to get the seat uh, means confirm once you have got the seat in first round 15th Closing of CSAP registration for second allotment. 17. Publication of second allotment, I mean second allotment result. Thereafter, on 17th, registration process will start for mop up round, and these three types of assistant will be eligible for that. 24. Full, need to, uh, full fee need to be paid. 26. Closing of mop up round registration. And 28. If there will be vacancy, you will get the mop up round allotment. And 38. You need to pay full fee on or before this to get the eligibility for the admission here is the activity first allotment accept and confirm accept and update for upgradation not allotted any seat don't you don't need to pay any fee if you have got upgradation i mean accept the seat and upgrade is for upgradation you have opted one lakh you need to pay in case of accepted also one lakh you have to pay second allotment you have to do this thing not allotted new and new candidate need not to pay any fee and if you will get slab uh, three in first you get slab 2 and in, slab, uh, in round 2 you will get slab 3 so remaining amount you have to pay that is in the second allotment and mock round there will be so these are the thing refund policy will be made as per the UGC refund will be made only after the admission of fee receipt uh, submission of fee receipt provisional seat allotment letter and no due certificate the refund will be made through account transfer to the account mentioned in the withdrawal request you have to provide a request in that they will provide you refund will be affected only after the final allotment refund policy is published in our website all refund policy will be online as per the above guideline so these are these are the refund policy there will be surely refund policy every year they refund the amount if you are not interested in the scheme so this was the complete information regarding the step-by-step -step process of america counseling process thank you